is Fitzy and Whipper with Kay Ritchie. Woo! Nova. Can we talk about a Canberra influence? And now I need to dissect this video quite a bit. There's a fair bit going on here. Okay. She's gone to Bali to get a tattoo. Yeah. Things haven't gone right to plan. In Bali? I, yeah, okay. Mm. And she's a little bit upset, Kate. Have a listen to this. So I came to Bali to get a tattoo, right? And, and I've been dreaming to get this tattoo because I just don't get tattoos all the time. I get one, like, every few months. And it's supposed to say angel energy. And that would just says energy angel. Okay, so let's go back to the start. I know it's a bit confusing. Let's focus on the first bit. So I came to Bali to get a tattoo. That's where you're making a mistake. Yeah. So I come we're to Bali. Up. Oh, we're whoa, up whoa. There. Oh, so I've gone to Bali to get myself a tattoo. Okay. Okay, first mistake. Number two, here we go. I just don't get tattoos all the time. I get one like every few months. I, I don't get tattoos all wow. the time. I get them every few months. Yeah, I mean, if she's only getting four a year, mate, this is a really special event. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. This that's a terrible. lot as far as I'm concerned. Then we've got to talk about the actual tattoo. It was supposed to say angel energy. And that was just this energy angel. What so it, it, it was supposed to say angel energy. Angel energy. Now it says energy angel. There's the tattoo there, okay? Okay. So she, the word's are around the wrong way. She's not happy it's at lucky all. Lucky she didn't get angle. Well, yeah, I thought that's. I always do angle with that stuff. When I'm writing, I wait for the emoji. Do you to, now? When I'm writing, I wait for the emoji to pop what? up so I know my spelling's correct. There's another word that you wouldn't. It's very <laughs> oh, close that's... to that. But she has, uh, has she has had it rectified, and she's got the guy. She's gone back to the tattoo artist to the same person. Energy Angel was the tattoo, but in between Energy and Angel, she said Energy of an Angel. Oh, that changes it a lot. That's not bad. Yeah. but it's not what you no, wanted. But you know, to, to get a tattoo in Bali and come home with a spelling mistake or uh, the words around the wrong way is a win. Uh, there's no infection. Your wrist is still there. You've got a head on your shoulders. Well, it's You've got out alive. We've spoken about it so many times on this show, but Kate, I don't think you've heard it, but a Geelong supporter, the Geelong Cats, Yes. when they won the night premiership and the day premiership, this was a, a long time ago, he went over to Thailand to get inked. Oh. to remember the year. And so he, the guy, the tattoo artist, said, write down what you want. Left arm, right arm. So he wrote, left arm, um. I want night premieres. Right arm, I want day premieres. I've got a feeling I know that. He'd had a few too many drinks. When he woke up, he'd realised that the guy had tattooed left arm yeah. on his left arm. Night premieres, and, and on his right arm it said "right arm gay premieres." No, it did <laughs> it Like when you're young too, and you think, "Oh, maybe I'll get a tattoo," <laughs> and you think, "You think, oh, maybe it's a good idea." I remember being in Byron Bay on schoolies week, and I thought, "Oh, maybe I'll get like I wanted to get like a circular tattoo, which was like the tree of life." On my wrist here, oh, which would sit. Oh, on. Did that go with your earring? No, well, no. I, yes, I probably already had the earring at that stage, and the shark tooth necklace um, went very well with <laughs> um, a pair of stussies. Um, maybe sit down, sit down with the family, because I did. I had a few too many drinks and went to the cross one night and got a tattoo on my lower back, which I've oh, had wh taken is, back. Wh wh a what tramp is it? stamp. It was a symbol yeah, of a yang. martial art. It was the worst thing I ever did, Kate. And there was a moment because it was on my back that when I stood up and there were two bikies, huge bikies that tattooed me and I was there with a couple of mates and as I stood up and turned around I knew straight away that this was the worst mistake yeah. I ever made yeah. but I had, had the two bikies there so I had to go what, that That's is cool, unbelievable man. let me pay you more thank, thank you so much guys you guys <laughs> are the best you know what I love you know what I love about it Kate if you have a look now because you said lasered it's just sort of this fluffy whitish spot show yeah. Kate your lower back well it's yeah it's uh, scarred so, um, let me have a yeah. Yeah, come on, show me. Come on. I'll show you. Show me. No. Lift your shirt. Lift your shirt. Oh, not that. Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie. On Nova. Let me sing that song, 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 song. All right, guys, song, 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 song. You know how this works. Everyone's a little bit nervous. They realise the game has stepped up. You need to be quick. You need to be all over it. The first round, you cannot go out on, so let's stretch the legs here. The word is life. Life. 
Oh, oh no. Spice up Shoot. your life? Yes. Uh, it's something unpredictable, but in the end, that's right. I hope you had the time of your life. Oh, oh there he is. Oh, yes, He's gone Green from three Day. verses out. <laughs> yeah. Didn't I mean, we have that the other week? We may have. Yeah, Tom. we did. Uh, is it Bon Jovi's got us? Uh, it's my life. Yeah, it's my life. life. I love that. Thank it's you. It's now or never. Hey, it's Bon Jovi. Where is he in the coronation? Did he get invited? No, he... He, he was he at the out. funeral, wasn't he? Was I, I, do you know about John Bon Jovi? He... Ch- <laughs> what? He pays the other band members a wage yeah. and takes all the money. No, he doesn't. He does. He owns Richie, the band. Richie Sambora now, to get back into the band, had to an, had to accept a wage from John Bon Jovi. He's on $27 an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Only when they're gigging. <laughs> but does get 10 sick days a year and gets yeah. four weeks off. He's got exactly. Duna days on Tuesday. Most shows are on the weekend, so that's got extra loading. Yeah, extra loading on there for Sundays. Here we go. The word is beautiful. Day. You're beautiful. You're, yep. beautiful. You're beautiful. Is that the one that you did? No, beautiful day. Oh, oh, well, yeah. what's, beautiful. The, the guy on the train. Uh, um, You're beautiful. Who's that's mine, That's James Fitzy, Bond? yeah. That's James Bond. Oh, Beautiful Come girls. On. Yes. B O B and yes, Bruno Kate. Mars. You are. I like. Um, oh, God. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Oh my. Such an easy oh. one. Oh, so beautiful. Jarvis Cocker. One. Love this song. Oh. I'm not good oh, at my this. God. Kate, I can't have you going down on yourself like that. I mean, <laughs> sorry. Oh, whoa. Oh, well, I've oh, got a great on. life. <laughs> I'm not going to do The live stream's just crashed. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Do you want to keep Katie in for this one? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do, because Which I don't want her to go home. I've also found a bit weird as the show was going. <laughs> <laughs> I meant don't get down on yourself. Finally, it's not just me doing it. Whoa. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's good to know that you have left the house to come and play today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, things are going she's well out. in here. Oh. I think this? she might be out of the building <laughs> after doing that. Guys, I've got to get, get out of here early today. <laughs> Don't need Brecky. Oh, okay, you here we go. Just, okay. For goodness uh, sake. Exactly, exactly. For goodness uh. sake. The word is body... <laughs> If you want my body and you think Kate, I'm sexy, in. come on, honey, tell me so. Body. <laughs> Suckers. Body. Uh, oh, God. Body. Uh, uh, have we done your bodies a wonder? No, we haven't, Tom. You're in. Oh, Good. John Mayer. <laughs> yeah. Body. It's all about the bass, booty, but no. No, uh, MDG gone. Uh, Katie, body. you anywhere? <laughs> By loud luxury. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I read, I read it. I read it on the sheet. I read it on the sheet. I'm yeah, gonna, great I'm, song. I'm going to disqualify myself. You can't. Kate scrapes through. Oh, this song. MDG gone. 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 Because I'm not on the billboard, so the rules are different. Oh, all right, oh, mate. Oh, oh, oh. Right, this mate. Is, this is, oh, not this one. Wow. Okay, so Tom. <laughs> Tom's Tom's also in and not on the billboard. Um, <laughs> you're in fits and Kate, you've scraped through. All right, here we go. The word is sexy. Sexy. Um, hey, sexy. Hey, sexy bit. Oh, yeah, you're a sexy oh, chick. Yeah. yeah. Chick, yeah. It's a sexy, sexy chick. chick. Damn. <laughs> Damn sexy. Don't say <laughs> Anyone else? If you want no. My no. no. You Tom, sexy sexy. back. Uh, sexy back, sexy yes. Back. Okay. Oh. I can't carry you any longer, mate. Oh, no, I've disqualified oh, myself. Yeah. No, I'm going to... I'm, All right. I'm playing like everyone else. Sexy back is one word, isn't it? No, it's sexy back is one word. Yeah. What? In that song it is. In that song it is. Well, just because yeah. he doesn't sexy. take a breath, it doesn't make it one word. What's oh, this? this is shaggy. Hey, Sexy shaggy. Lady, my favourite out of all the Shaggy. Never play Shaggy on this station again. That's true. It was, it's up next. We're down to <laughs> Tom Ivey and Ryan James. The word is first. first. The first time ever I saw oh, your face. Beautiful God, song. you've gone back, haven't you? Beautiful song. I thought you said first. No, first. Oh, in your eyes. Like first class. I'm trying to put some off. Yeah, you've put me off. Time you got in First. Yes. By what? First. By her. You can't just repeat the word. No, man. Ryan James, you've got it. Well He's nailed it on first. Right, Controversial round. Some things said, some things <laughs> regretted. <laughs> <laughs> Something that I'll never be able to unsee again. Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie. Nova.
We're very, very excited about this to have this guest in the studio. You can have an evening with Nigella Lawson right now. Nigella, welcome! Welcome! Thank you, thank you, thank you. She's back. Welcome to the studio. It is good to have you in here. And I love that you're wearing a polka dot. The one question I need to ask you, Nigella Lawson... You better ask me then. Go. Peanut butter and pasta... You yes. introduced that. Well, not really. If you think about it, there are noodle dishes yes. which have nut butters of course, in yes. and nut butters. So, yeah. in other words, I was really taking yes. drawing on a noodle dish, but just using spaghetti. But you see, we also have some in the UK. We have something called Marmite peanut butter. Oh, so it would yeah. be like if you had Vegemite peanut butter yes. here. Yes, of and I think that would be a good mix because I do a kind of Vegemite. Pasta. Oh, oh, right, okay. Um, well, I use Marmite. Oh, my, it's sure. so good. I get told off, but it was an Italian who taught it to me because she uh, married an English, and so she had really? a bit of Marmite. Mix it. Yeah. So you just do butter Always and you mix either Marmite yeah. or Vegemite in it. Bit of Parmesan, and if you want to. Uh, Add, you know, chili. You could, but you don't need to. Wow. You know, and that's delicious. Nigella, and they do it sometimes, and you'll see a master chef at the same time. And we were talking about foods that we really like, but it's amazing when you craft something perfectly for you. So, you know, I know exactly, and it's quite when my wife says, "Hey, what do you want for lunch? I'll make you something." I'll say, "No, no, I'll do mine," because I know <laughs> yeah. I want that. I want that butter spread the way I like yeah, my I butter. I know how thick I want the cucumber. Yes, it's about that simple thing that you can do for yourself. I think sandwiches. I've written about this actually because mm-hmm. it's obviously a very important subject. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, uh, sandwiches are the most personal way of eating, aren't they? But I, I think someone else making you a sandwich tastes better than you making. No, it I don't know about no, that. I, I, I think you there. Or don't have the skill of making a great sandwich. Because I think in the past, I may have got boyfriends over the line with a great sandwich. And it's because I know what a good one tastes like. I do it with love. And the amount of men have said, I have never had a sandwich like this. And I'm thinking, how are you making a sandwich? I don't know. I think, actually, do you know what? I am actually doing a talk in uh, London about sandwiches at some stage. So so you'll have to Thank you. You're my research group. What I would say is, it's mesmerising watching someone lovingly build a sandwich. Yeah. You know, I, there's a sandwich bar here in Sydney, Smalls, which yeah. I mm. think is fabulous. Yeah. I love seeing them make their sandwiches. I mean, obviously, I like eating mm. them too, but there is something lovely about that. There is, there is. Do you want to join Kate's oh, soup club? Yeah, I know. No, I, Jella. I, I, it made tell me, me about your soup it's club. It's exclusive. I know. And it, it, it's very exclusive. There are only two members. We have an inactive member, and she just has the soups. She doesn't contribute to the dropping of them at the front doorstep. But I, I'm part of a, a, a soup club, and each week, every Wednesday, you open the door at maybe 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and there is a little package of the soup that you have decided to share with the club oh, wow. this week. That's really lovely. Yeah, so, so uh, it's my turn this week. What might be your... Um, oh, don't put me on the spot quickly. You, no. Ooh. OK, Classic. in a way it's difficult because... You, you so want to... It's slightly geared towards a person, but I'll tell you a soup I cook a lot. It looks disgusting, yes. so just saying that now, because yeah, sure. sometimes things that taste good do look no. awful. Yes. I'm sure and you that's lentil and chestnut. And I'm thinking of that now because it's getting into the right season here. Lentil and here. chestnut. And I mean, I actually use chestnuts that are vacuum-packed so you don't have to peel them. Oh, perfect. But they're still, like, proper ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And a leek... You know, it's like leek mm, yeah, in there, and it's very easy. Sometimes I just puree a bit of it, mm. so it's thicker, but yeah. you've got a bit of nubbly bits of lentils too. Oh, yeah. But I love that. And a cr- you need the, the crusty roll. Huh? Can the yeah. two of you stay out of the... I'm, I feel like I know, think, I'm connecting but, but with I do Nigella think, here. But I think it's one of those soups that under-promises and over-delivers, and I think that's true with so many soups yeah, well, because... <laughs> People often think, oh, it's a bit boring, but once you start eating soup, you do feel it has a, a particular life-giving yep. it's force. Just, uh, yeah, and it, has, it, it's, it can be like a warm hug. Can I bring up something that I think would be really beneficial for your show? We don't have time. Um, oh. um, okay. no, no, thank you so much, and we're so sorry that Kate took over this interview. <sighs> but, sorry about um, the soup club I stuff. I loved talking about soup. Soup, okay? yeah. And yeah. We thank shall, you, and sandwiches. We shall and... soup, sandwiches. Yeah. What? We've yeah. had an evening with you already, and we thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Nigella. Thank you so much. Fifty and Whipper with Kate Ritchie. Nova. We were just talking about covers of songs. Actually, this is an interesting chat we were having. The most covered song of all time. I didn't know this, but Kate Ritchie, you nailed it. Where did you get this information from when you were on It Takes Two? Is when that correct? I did it, it Takes Two, I destroyed a cover did of Did you do um, yesterday? <laughs> yesterday. Did you really? Love it. 
Oh my no, this god. Is, this, is, this is the original. Oh god, for a minute there. Can, what, you thought you were as good as the Beatles? Can we find the audio? No, because no, it's so bad. Because I had to do the harmony, and I remember Troy going, You can do it. You can do it. I'll do the melody, you do the harmony. Oh, I was awful. I'm just impressed that you confused yourself for the Beatles for No, a but I, I could only hear the, the acoustic there, and I thought, Please don't be me. Please don't be me. Oh, Jess, I thought you were going to go with the original of but, um, When the Temperatures Rise. And <laughs> no, the one that yeah, the other one you did was awesome. Uh, um, yeah, but so how many covers of yesterday are there? Like two thousand or something. Two thousand two hundred different wow. versions. Now you got Frank Sinatra, Elvis Presley, Liberace, Kate Ritchie. Kate Ritchie. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many. Tommy mentioned that Daffy Duck had done a version as yeah. well. Do you know what the the other one that's coming a close second at the moment is Tracy Chapman's Fast Car, yeah. and we're playing Luke Combs's version at the moment. Which is, I mean, the only thing, it's, it's an acoustic guitar. Not many people are, are changing it up at all. I, did, I had to do a deep dive on the amount of covers that Fast Cars had. Go okay, on. what do you got? Okay, so we've also, you, you know recently, which was quite weird on this radio station, but um, we, Jonas Blue was a big song, and that was a cover of Tracy Chapman's, this one. That's right. So no, we were playing that with Luke Combs. Oh, this is not my favourite one, I don't Yeah, no, it's not. Well, so there's a cover. Um, this is another artist. Who, this guy's big in the States, David Usher. He's not changing up too much. No. Not into it. I got a fast card. Do you want to hear some superstars do it? Would you yes, mind? Please. Okay, this is Justin Bieber doing fast car. So remember when we were driving, like. driving in yes, car. see, I like this. Yeah, but 100%, 100% unnecessary. Why is being unnecessary? Why is doing this? Well, don't you think it brings a great classic song to the youth? Yeah, didn't need to. Mm. Didn't need to. I agree. What and about you know, you know, No, but what, what gets me really upset, Kate, is if you do want to listen to it, go and listen to the original, Tracy Chapman's oh, original. Yeah. This is Sam Smith singing it. See, I remember when we were driving, driving in your car. Nah. So fast, well, you don't like that one either? Nah. City lights lay out before us and your arms felt nice wrap around my Oh, yeah. Thumb. I, I. Nah. That's a different Sitting version. There, does Tracy Chapman, does she get a cut of this? She would have to. A cut of all the tracks and She'd recording and airtime? Did she write it originally? Well, do you have to get permission before you do cover it? Great do, question. You? you have to. I don't know if you do. I don't know. Didn't we talk to someone in here recently yes, about did. that? Who was that? Because I mentioned Kanye and the guys that did a song with Kanye and they put a beat behind one of his songs. They said, what did Kanye think of the song? They said, I don't know, we never spoke to him. We just did it. Do you want to hear some shockers? Yeah. Okay, so... What, more oh, than I that. thought we'd, we'd cover <laughs> oh, them. Oh, no, we're getting into it now. We're getting oh. into it. So this is a band called Swimming With Dolphins. Mm. Have a listen to this one. That's, that's noise pollution right there. Hey, do you want the rave techno version? Thought you'd never ask. <laughs> oh. Okay, and then this is... Uh, now, they don't even use the lyrics in this one, but they use the acoustic guitar in the background. This is a rap act from the 90s called mm -hmm. Nice and Smooth. Sometimes I rhyme slow, sometimes I rhyme quick. Quick, quick, quick. Or sometimes I rhyme slower, sometimes I rhyme quick. I'm sweeter and thicker than a chico stick. Here's an ice cream car, <laughs> I'm to lick. I'm gonna make plaza and catch a flick. Oh, oh. It's horrific. No. I've got one last one, which Can't is just, worse. which it cannot get any worse than this. <clears throat> you got a fast car. I want a ticket to anywhere. Maybe we could make a deal. Oh, yeah, you'll be laughing on the other side Maybe of your face when I'm at the Grammys somewhere. <laughs> Maybe we could make a deal. Oh, well. Here in the studio, starting from zero. That's it. That is it. Jitsi and Whippo with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.